Hello everyone and welcome to episode 108 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This week I'm going to be doing something a little bit native to this place that I've moved to because Arvid has kindly put another challenge this week in the discord of course, modeling challenge, the weekly one. Why am I speaking in reverse? I'm like Yoda. <laughs> I don't know. And this weekly modeling challenge is a spider. And it could be robotic and it could be a normal spider or anything like that, as long as it's got eight legs. And last time I tried to do a spider, it's actually one of the more successful 10 minute modeling challenge videos, but I only put six legs on the on the little thing. So I think that's why it was successful because everyone saw the thumbnail, jumped in and said, that's not a spider. It's only got six legs. So I think it actually helps. Sometimes doing something wrong actually promotes the thing anyway. But this week I'm actually going to do it with the eight legs but I don't think I'm gonna do a robotic one but I'll do a low poly so we'll see how that goes and I feel a bit in my element now because uh, spiders of course is uh, pretty native to where I am now and uh, where I used to live in Sweden there was some spiders little teeny weeny ones and they're a lot bigger here and I haven't really seen any like palm size things but I've seen I guess if you count the legs I've seen them about palm size those uh, huntsman spiders and one was inside the car I saw one of those things on top of the bonnet or the hood if you're in America of the car and I was petrified thinking that thing is uh, I'm so glad it's on the outside of the car because it was running like across the bonnet hood <laughs> and it went down to where the windscreen wipers are and the air filters and I said to my son I was giving him a ride to school and I said I'm glad that's on the outside because I don't want that inside so all day we're like quick in and out of the car closing the door to make sure that it wasn't going to sneak in anytime soon and then in the evening we had to go I think we were going to the cinema so the sun had set and we walked to the car it was parked outside and I sat inside on the wrong side of the car because you drive on the wrong side here, but I'm trying to get used to that. And on the inside, on the A pillar or whatever you call it, there was this spider and it was on the inside. And I'm like, oh, that must have come through the vent or something. So I had to like internally search. I thought that would like surely have a filter that didn't pass a spider like that through. I don't know how it got in there. But it was in there anyway, and uh, bravely enough, I sent my wife to, to take it out. I, I would have done it, of course, but it was on the other side of the car, her side of the car. So, <laughs> Also seen uh, Transformers, super cool movie, the, the Beast one. That was uh, really cool. Seen Indiana Jones on the cinema as well. Going to go watch Mission Impossible. I'm like in a big cinema mode here. Because one thing that I really like here, first of all, we live close to the cinema. It's like a, a five minute drive if there's no traffic. With it being so close and hardly anyone goes. I don't know why. Even on the premieres, we went to Indiana Jones and there was like me and and uh, my family and maybe, I don't know, 20 people on the day after the premiere it was. I do want to say one more thing actually, and that is that I finally updated Universal Sound Effects. So I've added 1,996 effects and one of the things that I've been adding, I recorded this a long time in Sweden actually, when I still had my sound room there, I bought loads of fruit and veg and I'm afraid to say that a lot of fruit and veg did get hurt in the recording of those sound effects because it was like celery, different types of vegetables and pumpkins and melons and all sorts of things, onions, and I was like spotting them, twisting them and getting gory sound effects. So I've got a lot of those uh, sound effects packaged up and a lot of splats and monster splats and creepy insects and things like that. So I've added those along with a lot of other sound effects. I've added some of the, the, the looping spacecraft sounds as well that I have from my other library. I added a, f a few more of those into the universal sound effects package for those who don't have that. And I've got loads of uh, new sounds there as well. I'm going to be bringing my son out for some field recording trips. So we're heading uh, down to a raceway this weekend to get some more car racing sounds and things like that. I'm going to bring it out to the nature, get a lot of those bird sounds. And there's going to be uh, some fun trips, I think, here in Australia to do. So if you don't know what Universal Sound Effects is, it's actually a package that I've been having for sale for a long time for game developers. You might recognize some of the sounds because if you hear the alarm sound or the ambient sounds, for example, in Among Us, they actually use the universal sound effects for some of their sounds. So that's pretty cool. I recognize that every time I hear it on the, t on the TV when the kids have been playing on YouTube, I know that's the sound and I, I know that they actually bought that one. So that was pretty cool. And I've heard it in some other games as well. And uh, there's loads of sounds there. So if you need anything for your games, uh, prototyping, or if you want to re release commercial games, make a lot of money on them like Among Us did, then uh, you should go and grab uh, Universal Sound Effects. You've got 7,013 sounds and counting. So that update that was sent out now is free for everyone. So go and grab that one if you want. All right, with that said, am I recording? Yeah, <laughs> Whew, good thing. Low poly spider in. Ready, steady, go, and we're off. Yep, it's counting. I have to double check that it's counting actually. Let's go to the edit tab, auto mirror, and auto mirror this thing, of course. Tab it into edit mode, and then we'll bring this up and scale it down, and we'll do well, I'm not going to extrude a vert. E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale. This is going to be the part of the body where the legs are going to be coming out. Control R for loop cut, scale this thing. And then we'll do scale this one down. 
and then we'll do the head here. So e to extrude s to scale. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, of course, and E to extrude and S to scale. There we go. And then we're going to do the tail here, a big ball thing. I don't know what type of spider it is. E to extrude, S to scale, and E to extrude, S to scale. We'll put a big thing in here. So I guess it's like a female E to extrude. No, I'm not trying to say that they're bigger, but I think they are spider-wise, actually. So E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Make a round. There we go. And then we're going to control R to loop cut this thing and scale or just bring that out. Scale. I have to modify this a little bit manually. Two into edge select and scale and then press Z to scale on the Z axis. And I think that's way too thick now. So Alt Z, X ray, and we'll scale on the Z axis there. And then G to move that up, maybe. Rotate. I don't know. Something like that. That's going to be the body of the spider. And bring this out a little bit. Control select the edges to there. And that's it. And then I'm going to put some uh, like fangs, is it? So G. Bring that out a little bit pointier there. I'm going to make some room for some eyes here as well, actually. So G to move that on. And G to move that. I'll just shape the face here. I'm not going to make round eyes. I think I want to make like some evil looking eyes there. So and how am I doing? 804 so I'm gonna grab that face no I'll put the fangs here G so grab that face shifty to duplicate it scale it down with s and then e to extrude s to scale and then e to extrude s to scale r to rotate and e to extrude s to scale r to rotate that's it that's our little fangs there maybe I can enlarge them later who knows and let's grab that move it forward now legs Shift D to duplicate, scale, and then G to move it in. R to rotate, I don't even see it now. <laughs> e to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate. Now I'm gonna put long creepy legs here on. So E to extrude, S to scale. Maybe something like this, top view, G. There we go, and top view. Actually, they'll make it a little bit bigger. E to extrude, S to scale. Put some weird like join things here. So E to extrude, S to scale. R to rotate, maybe. E to extrude, S to scale, maybe like this. E to extrude, S to scale, put another joint thing here. E to extrude, S to scale. G to move, E to extrude, S to Actually, I'm gonna rotate this so it's like flat to the ground now nearly. Or not yet, I'll have to E to extrude one more. So, some little feet here. Don't know how they look, but let's do it like that. Oh, those are some long and creepy legs. So I'll put some more detail there, control R, Scale, control R, scale, G to move that on, control R. Oop, what did I do? <laughs> I don't know. Six minutes, 26 se seconds. Control R for loop cut, S to scale, R to rotate, control R. Just want to put some weird details here. I have no idea of the anatomy. A anatomy? Yeah. Uh, I'll put another little joint here. S to scale, control R. S to scale, that's it. And I'm going to put enough legs this time. But I'm going to put an eye here first. And I think I want to do it like this. So it, it could like double as a robotic spider, I guess. So I to inset. E to extrude. S to scale it down. And G to move it. Should we put some... I think I want to do it. Maybe like that. And we can make the eyes glow as well, actually. By grab those. G to move. And you won't see it now, but when it, maybe after I render it, the, this color in the lower right quadrant there actually lights up, so maybe yellow. But it, you won't see it yet, but we can see it in a bit. Let's grab that little interior face there, if I can see it. Alt Z. Okay, wasting a lot of precious time there, but that's it. Alt Z. And now we need more legs, so L to select the link. How am I do? I half the time is all right. Should be pretty good to go. Shift D to duplicate, R to rotate. And Shift D to duplicate, R to rotate. And Shift D to duplicate, R to rotate. Get those front legs a little bit forward. That's it. So, and what should we do now? Well, it's pretty done now, the spider, I think. This is pretty much what I want to do. I guess you could subdivide it if you want. But let's color it. I think I want it darker. So G on the left side here. And get a nearly like a black spider. Black Widow, but they don't have that here in Australia. 
They've got a red back, I think. Is that, or red belly, red back? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll put uh, some, I don't know what to do now, so. Because the spider itself is pretty done, I think. So, maybe I should do, maybe red eyes are better. Glowy red eyes, there we go. And then the fangs here could be like white or something. And then I think I'll, I'll just put some more detail on it, I guess. G to move that on, control R. Maybe shape the face a little bit more different since I've got the time. Should I control R here, Alt S to scale that one? I don't know, probably don't need that. But, so let's control Z out of that one. G to move it. Maybe this tail needs to be pointier. Like this. And should we put some, uh, I think I'll put some shapes on it then. And I, if I, I might be totally mistaken, I should have researched this before, but let's call it a red back. So I'm gonna put some red markings on the back here. And now it's probably a red, red belly. I should know these things because I need to teach my kids if they're dangerous or not. So, but if it's a little black spider with some mark, red somewhere on it, then I think we should be pretty cautious. So I think I'll do, but that's the beautiful thing. You don't have to make it that things anatomy, anatomically correct when I do this thing. So I'm going to do, maybe I'll do GG, GG, GG to get a different shape here. GG. GG, GG. Should I do that? And then let's color these red. Control R, I think I want another loop cut here. GG, GG. Maybe I'll color those red or something. S to scale that one down. S to scale this down. S to scale that down. GG. GG and maybe I think I want to bring these up as well so 222 I'm just wasting time now maybe it was better the way before was before who knows I can subdivide it, I guess too even though that's a criminal offense when it comes to low poly we don't subdivide things then do we <laughs> it's like an unspoken rule G Something like that, maybe. maybe. Should I put some like shapes on it as well? Like it's got some. No, I can put Control R. Maybe some more. If I if I do subdivide it, it's good to have a little bit few more edges here, so it doesn't just blob into solid blobs. There we go. Scale, G, scale, and maybe I'll do a bit more definition there. So this could definitely double as a robotic spider as well, if you put some armor plates on it or something. Um, I think I want to rotate those. Well, one minute. What should I do? Should we do slightly different colors on the legs maybe? L, 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 L. L is good to select the length. G. Put slightly brighter legs on it maybe. And then... Do you know what? That's, that. That's done. I mean, it was done five minutes ago, to be honest. <laughs> well, that looks stupid, so we can fix that, I guess. No excuse. G. So if you need to make a spider, give yourself five minutes. I should have made uh, a new five-minute episode or something. This is probably where I break the geometry just by the end of it, so I still fail somehow. But I'll press uh, Control 2 on it, I guess, to see. That's what it looks like if you subdivide it now. So I guess that would work. Uh, and let's see what it looks like if I do right click shade smooth. That's what it looked like if it was shaded smooth as well. Then we should have some more. Oop. Control R. 16 seconds. So, but you know what? I'm gonna keep it low poly. True to its uh, true thing. That's it. Low poly spider done. Five, four, three, two. One. That's it. <laughs> I should have probably rigged it too in that time. <laughs> but who knows. Let's do F12 on it. We need to create a camera actually. Shift. Tab out of edit mode. Shift A. Camera. G to move this thing. And 
well, I should do, uh, maybe I'll split this. And there's shortcut keys for this, but 3D viewport, select the camera. I think it's control zero. Yeah. On the numpad, G to move that on. G and we'll just move it back a bit as well. So I'll do comma and do, well, I always do it wrong. No, I did actually, comma, local. Shift space G to get the little gimbal thing there and then f12 to render and you see the eyes are actually lighting up because we've got uh bloom enabled there what render am i even on Let's see ev so we'll enable bloom as well and ambient occlusion i guess f12 there we go oh okay we should add a light too shift a light sun g actually i'm going to do my normal thing i'm going to do one sun from this angle and then we're going to change the color of this one to maybe red from this side. And I'm going to shift D to duplicate that one, rotate it and do blue light from this side. And F12, how are we doing? Too blue. Lower it a bit. And this one as well, lower it a bit. F12. And if you want to increase the bloom as well, I think I've got shading here. Pick the spider, emission there. Let's go up to 50. And then here, Z rendered. You can see eyes are lighting up a little bit more. F12. All right, folks, that was a five minute spider, but and then I just procrastinated for five minutes thinking, what can I do to it next? It already had the eight legs and uh, it had the low poly style that I wanted. So I just could not find out what to do. So I guess I could have done two spiders maybe. How about that? <laughs> but if you need a spider for your game, it should be easy to make it. Just uh, jump into Blender and uh, repeat the E to extrude, S to scale, and a few moments later, then uh, you'll have a spider ready to go for your game. Just rig it and animate it. Maybe I should do that as well. I'm going to be uploading this spider to my Patreon and I'll take this opportunity as well to say a huge thank you to all my patrons. I'm very, very thankful for your support. So head over to patreon.com slash infensia and check it out. Of course, you've got the, the different low poly characters there that you can use in your games too if you need them. So I, I'm trying to give back to my patrons to make sure that you get some downloads and some exclusive things to use. All right, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week for another video. Until then, take care and... Bye for now.